Hey you guys, what's up? So today ah, is an exciting day. I am going to get a puppy, my second puppy. I already have my boy Moose, which I love so much, but I'm going to get him a sister right now. And I am 33 minutes away now, and I just can't wait for you guys to meet her. I just, ah, I'm so excited. So I will get back to you guys right when I get the little girl. All right, you guys, it's pretty bright, but meet Honey. She is perfect. Literally perfect, to say the least. She was just attacking me with kisses, and like, this is the first time she stopped. But she is freaking so cute. Cute little girl. But I can't wait to show her, you guys, when I get home. I have a two and a half hour drive ahead of me, and she's getting tired. Hello, little girl. You just get tired. Okay, we'll see you guys when we get home. She is the sweetest, fluffiest little bug. Hey, you guys. Sorry about no update yesterday. Here is Moose and Honey. His new sissy. Hi, Honey. Huh, baby girl? She's not used to the car yet, so she's been whining. Her personality is so much different than Moose's was. Moose was very independent. She is very clingy. Um, and she slept literally like this all night last night when Moose would go to sleep. He would, um, just like lay on the end of my bed. He would never come up in cuddles with me. Um, but right now we're gonna go get a pop cup. So I'll show you her first pop cup and then I'll update you more about all the stuff and everything. I just had to show her to my family yesterday and everybody is in love, of course. Oh, see, she doesn't, she's not used to the car yet, but I'm giving her her first puppuccino just with a tiny bit of whipped cream. Moose, you have your own, babes. Oh, as you guys can see, Honey Girl likes to be in laps. She really does. I'm gonna set her in the grass so you guys could see her trot around. It's so cute. Oh, hi, babes. It's kind of chilly out. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi, babes. Laying in the grass and letting the puppies do their thing. Like, so freaking cute. Look at how cute. How cute are you? How cute are you? Oh, you're pretty cute. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I have for her. You guys, sorry, my room is a mess and I am eating potatoes right now. Because I had like some stuff from Moose, so I have a brush. I have another brush. I have her food and water bowl, of course. Here's her bed. Here's her snuggle pup. I am going to put this in her crate when I leave today because I do have to leave her today. And she has a little blanket in it. She has a blanket in her crate, but right now it's in a bag up there. Um, we have so many toys. This is my favorite. It's her honey toy. Her name is Honey, so I thought that was so cute. These toys, which I feel like puppies love these toys, and they don't have stuffing, so you don't have to risk them, like, chewing them up or anything like that. And Moose has the cow one that came in a pack of three on Amazon. But this is, like, a little pig one. And then there's this little leopard one, so cute. And then we have a little rope toy because puppies like to chew on ropes too. I have this little <laughs> toy, so cute. And this was the very first toy I got her. It's just a little lamb. It is so cute. This is one of my favorite toys. It's no squeaky or anything. It was just at Target and I think it was... It came with some candy. It was like a little Valentine's Day thing, but I thought it was so cute. It has a little flower, and it's just a cute little cactus. <laughs> so I have her that. 
and then I have a whole bunch of other toys. I have teething toy, of course. Um, the dog food that I start her out on since she's a puppy is the Purina Pro Plan. I This is what I started Moose out on too. She just gave me a sample size of this, but I still need to go get the big bag, but I'm gonna do that I think this weekend because this is still a good size, but you can get that at like, I think Pet Smart. Um, and then I have, this is just her little treat bowl with treats in it. It says live, love, and treats, but it's just easy rather than like finding the treat bag, opening it. It's just like a jar. I tried to give her a treat for like going potty, but she was like not sure about the treats. Like she didn't eat the treats like right away like, like Moose does. Oh my gosh, little baby girl. But I have this pee pad. Um, it's the same one I had for Moose and it worked very well just to help her. If she has an emergency, she will go on the pad. If not, I just try to bring her outside. She's been pretty good about potting. She has pottied on that. She's pee peed on that three times. She had one accident on my bed and then I brought her to that. And she's gone on that three times now and then she had one accident. Whoa, hello. And then she had one accident in her car bed today. My fault though. I'm not, you do, I have, when people get mad at their puppies for going pee inside and stuff, it's like, you just have to expect that. Like, they are puppies. They are going to have accidents. That's why you just need to train them. That's what people, that's what you sign up for. And sometimes it can be hard work. With Aussies, though, their breed, they are so smart. So, they catch on to things so quickly. That's another thing that's good about, like, getting Aussie puppies because they're so smart. Like, Moose probably had eight accidents or seven accidents his whole time being a puppy. He learned the routine very fast. Her personality is a lot different than Moose's was, so I just wanted to, like, talk to you guys just in case you guys want a puppy or have a puppy or are planning on getting a second one. I don't know if it's a male versus female thing because these are my first two dogs. I was just wanting to compare having a boy Aussie to a girl Aussie really quick. I'm sorry if this is boring to some people, but so Moose was very one independent. He let me just give you some examples. Um, when we slept on the bed, he would not sleep right next to me. He would kind of just like walk away from me and go to like a different corner, like away from me, and just sleep on his own. And then if I would want to like pick him up and give him loves, he might give me love for like a tiny bit, but then he'd want to be down doing his own thing. And he wasn't, he didn't have a whole bunch of anxiety. Like, when I put him in his crate, he would whine. But besides that, like, he could be left alone and he would do his own thing. And also, he loved car rides from the beginning. Just loved being in the car. That's not about being independent, I guess. But he just loved being in the car. Um, sitting on my lap in the car, looking out the window, going on car rides. Now, her on the other hand, this is literally from just two days, but most of the two days was like how I just said he was. He was just very independent and just chill, laid back. Her, she is very needy. She always wants to be in my lap. If I am on the bed and out of sight on the bed and she's down here, she'll whine and then she'll come jump until I pick her up and she has to be in my lap. Um, sleeping wise, she is always right here. Not all, I, it was my first night, so I don't know why I say always, but she was right here all night and then she moved to right here. Like I said earlier in the video, she was just by me the whole time. They were both pretty, I think Moose's first night, he woke me up like four times to go potty, but he still woke me up to go potty, which was really good. She didn't wake me up once. I woke up at 630 and then put her on her mat to see if she had to go and she went tinkle and then I took her outside and she went poop. So it was a really good thing. And she is more like affectionate too than Moose was as a puppy. Like she always wants to be giving kisses and your lap, just very loving. And Moose was less like that. He was more independent. She hasn't gotten grumpy at me once. I remember just like 
Moose would be like a little bit sassy sometimes too. Like if we wanted, if he was outside exploring and we wanted it to go like pick him up, he'd be like, Rrr, and like give us a little growl, like leave me alone. And Honey is just like, if I went up to her, she'd just be so happy and she'd be like, oh yeah, I want to give you kisses. So I don't know if it's a male versus female thing or if it's just depends on the dog. I think it must just depend on the dog because it was funny when I did research about Aussies. Getting Aussies, it was saying females are usually more independent and males are usually more lovey, but it was opposite in my situation. So I really do think it just depends the dog. So this is her first collar. It is so cute. That's her name and that'll be a little over a month, but this is the collar that fits her right now and it's perfect because it doesn't have a name tag or anything it's just like a pretty collar so it looks so cute on her too you guys i got this off of amazon as well as this i still have this it says good dog i had it since moose was and this is where i i've had this since moose was a puppy and this is where i put all their toys name tag for her so cute got this on amazon as well i haven't filmed hi babes in a couple days or three days maybe um because i've been busy but has honey grown since her video huh she just woke up from a nap wanted to tell you guys about some stuff i got her this is from pack leashes let me just tell you a little bit about them and why i love them um four meals donated to pup shelters so every time you order from there um four meals are donated to pups in shelters which i think is just so awesome this is what i got honey so i got her a pack and it came with a leopard print leash i picked leopard print they have a whole bunch of different prints for girl dogs and boy dogs and it came with a bandana and it came with a little collar, which is so cute. Quick. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel right outside my window. Hi, little squirrel. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of different kinds of leashes. The sets, they have, you can order just collars separately. Um, you can order harnesses. There was a pack just like this that came with the harness. I wish I got that pack, but it's okay. If you have like a pup and then if it gets older, they just have a whole bunch of good stuff on there and cute designs for boys and girls. Have like merch um, for if you like, like a dog mom hat. The code is honey1202 and it will get you 35% off of your whole order. Um, I like the packs, but you could also just get collars, leashes, and they come in any size, but it is just such a good brand. Okay, so I actually did just check, and the code is HONEY1203, not 1202. So, Honey does get a little bit of car anxiety. She whines and pants. Does anyone know how to help this? We're just <laughs> trying to go on an outing, and Moose did not have this problem. I have my little girl in her front pack, little boy. But I did put a potty pad in the front pack just in case a little girl needs an accident. Whoosh. This is a good way to socialize her and take her on walks before she can actually go on them just so she can see all the people around and the dogs around and just take it all in. I am about to attempt to walk Honey on her leash. Um, her and Moose, my other dog, even though they're the same breed, they are surprisingly different in the way they learn and act, which honestly surprised me. Oh, good girl, that's what Moose does too. He grabs the leash. Come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Hi, oh, my pretty girl. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, hello. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. First, I'll show you this little front pack that I have. I want to get a side bag too, like a cute one. But this was the only one they had at like one of the pet stores in my town. This is what I just did. Ah, oh, babes, it's okay. I connected it to her collar. We're gonna go to coffee. 
and her is nervous. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And um, oh, we would we I usually bring Moose with us, but since she's been so scared lately, I'm just gonna try to take her by herself this one time just to kind of try to get her used to it because Moose, every time she's doing this, he's just like, what's going on? And um, so yeah, we're just gonna try this one on our own. But, give me a kiss. Kisses make her feel comfortable. And when I blow in her face. Comforts her for some reason, it's so funny. But anyways, I will see you guys very soon in another video. Thanks for coming along to meet little honey girl. She is an angel, but she does get car anxiety. So, please help. <laughs> Bye guys.